Hi everyone, Claire Horner here, and today I'm here to speak about the new concepts of 5 inch saw frame with a quick release lever. So I will see you down on the bench and we'll discuss this further. When you get the new concepts on, you open it up for the first time. In the packaging, you will find this information sheet, and it gives you all the information you need to know about how to use the saw, how to change the blade and problem solving for any future problems that could possibly happen. I do recommend that you keep this information sheet just in case you do need to refer to it in the future. The saw itself is really really easy to use. This is the tension set bar and it's pretty much self-explanatory. When it is in this position the blade is slack and I like to store it with the blade slack and I find that it actually makes the blades last longer because they're not under the tension and the stress all the time and more often than not actually blunting the blade rather than, bla than breaking the blade. To set your tension you just need to flip the lever up until you feel it bite and then set it as to where you want it. You can either set it all the way or just a little bit depending on what you're sewing through and here at the top is a screw which also changes your tension setting. I found that it pretty much comes ready to go. The blade that comes included with it is not suitable for what I was doing so I changed it out straight away. To change the blade is really simple just slacken off your tension unscrew here, you just need to twist it a tiny bit, unscrew here and your blade will just come straight out. To refit the blade, really simple, you just want to place your teeth side out, make sure it's the right way around Place it between the two, tighten up your bottom one, tighten up your top one, because your tension isn't set you can just tension it straight up until you feel the bite straight away. Really really simple to use. If you want to know if your blade will fit, this flat point here and this flat point here, if your blade fits the length of that then the blade will fit the saw. It says all of this in the full instructions so you don't need to worry about remembering it. The difference between this saw and a standard jeweler's saw is the actual cutting depth that you've got. With the standard jeweler's saw and standard piercing saw, I find that the depth is nowhere near enough. If I wanted to cut through a piece like this, and I did do it with this piece, this piece went like this, and I had to cut out just a long length. Cutting off the top, I couldn't even cut the top off because it would get stuck. I'll show you this way. This piece is actually longer than the saw frame but because I used the new concepts 5 inch frame I cut straight through it with no problem. The extra cutting depth on this saw makes it absolutely amazing. And there you can see you get pretty much that much extra and you can see there how this one just had no chance. The saw itself is extremely lightweight. I can't even begin to say how lightweight it is. It just feels like a feather in your hand compared. This thing weighs in comparison an absolute ton. When you're sewing through lots of pieces and if you're doing some really really delicate work and you find your hand aching I used to find my hand ached all the time and that's because I was using this heavy saw 
with this one in comparison I've sewn through about 30 different delicate pieces and by the end the only thing that ached was my other hand holding the silver down to my bench peg. I highly recommend investing in the new concepts deep 5 inch depth saw and the actual lever makes it really really simple to adjust your tension for anything that you're doing. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope you'll like and subscribe and thank you very much for watching. Bye!